Hi, Earth Signs. So we're going to go ahead and get into a reading for this weekend. This is 1111 through 1113 for all the Earth Signs, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And then we're going to pull a yogic, yogic path card for each sign. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the general energy for all the uh, Earth Signs here. What is going on this weekend? What's the energy around the Earth Signs? Okay, we have one there. Okay. Very logical. Seeing things as they are. Ooh, so you have the death and rebirth. This could be a time frame too, because we are in Scorpio season. But I feel like, you know, seeing things for what they are, letting go, having this new transformation, as well as working on it, really working. Working, building skills in this area, okay? We're gonna get one more. Working and building skills in that area. Come on, cards, there we go. Okay, you did wanna come out, yeah. Yeah, because you're tired of being in this anxiety and worry. So you are really seeing things as they are. You've been worried and, and <clears throat> stuck for a while. It could have something to do with your work, um, your job or something like that. But this is skill sets that you're working on to let it go and release and transform. Okay, so let's go ahead and see each sign. So let's see. <clears throat> Taurus. What's going on with you, Taurus? Sorry, a little hoarse today. All right. <clears throat> Taurus. What's this energy about for Taurus? You know, seeing things for clarity, like stepping out of that worry and anxiety, really working on those skills. We have ta Tantra. That's nice. Tantra. Love that. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, look at that. It almost like you're looking at yourself, reflecting, isn't it? You know, like your human self and your soul. It's kind of like staring back at each other, right? And this one almost looks like he's looking away. It's like your ego, but I really feel like it's coming around for you. But let's say Tantra. Tantra, Tantra, Tantra. Okay, 83. 83. Okay, Taurus, let's see what this Tantra is about. What this clarity you're gaining, what you're working on. So we have balance of masculine and feminine. Okay, so there's a, a, mis there's a missed balance of uh, masculine and feminine energy, you know, like almost like that passive aggressiveness, um, you know, or being dug into the dirt and stuff and um, stubborn. It's kind of balancing out that feminine energy, which is creativity, intuition, compassion to the masculine energy of being assertive, protective, stuff like that. <clears throat> so we have you are expanding into liberation, Tantra, moving past the dualistic mind that judges everything as right or wrong. You are headed towards the greater truth that becomes from integ inter integration the structured masculine and flowing feminine within you are merging allowing you to move forward infinite consciousness the nature the mature masculine within you creates presence focus stillness and determination the mature feminine within you results in creativity flow movement sensuality and nurturing both genders require a balance of the two energies continue to invite in all aspects of yourself your light your shadows and your Shakti, your Shiva, your cognition and your intuition. So yeah, this is balancing everything out. Okay, Taurus. So you know, if you are see you're leaning towards one way or the other, it's time to balance out those energies and it would bring in again, letting go of this worry, more clarity, and then finally, letting it go and, and into transformation. And I do feel like for some of you, this is the time frame. like, this is like now, this is like now you have to do this kind of, because you know, well, it is the weekend, the 11, 11, and we are in Scorpio season. So uh, for you too, I feel like Taurus, this lunar, um, lunar eclipse we just had in your sign, Taurus is really like, really, you know, pushing you to do something, you know, really making you have that clarity, you know, to really want to work on that. From the clarity that you're getting okay so let's go ahead and see what cards is coming out with this contract this balancing of the masculine and feminine energy for taurus 11 11 to 11 13 please what's the energy okay Ooh, five of cups see see yeah balancing out this energy so you are you know more grounded more stable and you're not like focused on what happened to you the disappointments you know you're turning around and being blessed about what i actually have in my life you know so i really feel like with this energy it's time to let go of any kind of uh you know victimhood um past traumas you know it's like time to balance out that energy you know whether you're in that aggressive like uh, you know anger like with the masculine or you're in that 
woe is me, damsel is stress feminine. It's time to energize that and balance it out, okay? So that's yours, Taurus. So let's go ahead and get into Virgo. So Virgo, what are you working on to let go of to, for this rebirth? What clarity, what logical um, state are you in to let go of this worry? You know, how, how are you changing your thought process here? Stopping that overthinking. Let's see what the yogic cards for you, Virgo. Okay, so now we have Lakshmi. Oh, nice. Lakshmi. Lakshmi. All right, for some reason that doesn't remind me of a Virgo, but we're going to go ahead and see what this Lakshmi card means. If I can find it, Lakshmi. Oh, here it is, 101. Almost there. 103. Okay, 101. Okay, so Lakshmi is goddess of abundance, fortune, and beauty. Love that. So, many call upon Lakshmi, but she only comes to a few who have earned it. Today, that is you. She is the goddess of abundance, physical beauty, ojus, vital life force, good fortune, and fertility. She is the sweetness of the fruit, the petals of the flower, and the glistening of the ocean. She is the extra spark that makes certain things beautiful. She comes to you with blessings of prosperity and the fruits of your labor. She has recognized your generosity and rewards you in ways, whether it's financial abundance, radiant health, loving partnerships, comfortable home, good fortune, or impregnation you are seeking. Continue to give freely and lovingly, and so should she. So, um, yeah, so what I feel like here, Virgo, because it says, you know, you have this worry and anxiety. It's stepping out of yourself so you can, like, help other people. You know, giving freely of your time, your uh, wisdom, um, whatever you can. You know, being grateful for what you have and stepping out of that. Once you step out of thinking about what's going on with you and overthinking what's happened to you, your disappointments and things like that, you're going to have this transformation and rebirth, you know, skills you're going to be learning, like using the skills that you've learned over time, over the heartbreaks, the betrayals, the, the wounds, and using that to benefit others, then you're going to have this abundance coming in because you're going to be rewarded by Lakshmi. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a tarot card for you, Virgo. So, like, you know, realizing, you know, don't get stuck in that pattern of, like, you know, what happened to me and letting it cause fear and anxiety and worry. It's time to step past that, you know, face that and you help other people. Yeah. See, this is holding back. You know, keeping things to yourself. The universe wants you to share what you've learned. It's going to better be beneficial for others and also it's going to help you because then you're going to step out of that overthinking and worry. And you're going to start feeling good and grateful, okay? So that is your message, Virgo. <clears throat> all right so capricorn what skills are you learning and what what worry and anxiety are you letting go of and what skills are you learning to be able to see things truly as they are and live your best life and transform here okay so let's go ahead and see let's get a yoga card real good path card for you capricorn what's the card for you 11 11 to 11 13 for capricorn please we have Ganesha. Love that. Look at that. Ganesha. That's a pretty card. All these cards are so, the artwork is so good. Ganesha. So let's go ahead and read about this Ganesha. I love this Ganesha. Okay. 117. I almost feel like that's so weird. 117. So if your birthday was on January 17th, I think this is a very important message for you. It's so interesting that I just got that. So whoever was born on January 17th, it's a Capricorn. All right, let's see. All right, Ganesha. So we have God of new beginnings and remover of obstacles. Love that. You are at the beginning of a new venture that is going to bring you great joy and success. Ganesha has been removing the roadblocks placed before you, granting you a smooth transition into this very moment. Those roadblocks do not exist outside of you. However, they are the breach us the fluctuations of the mind rep represented by this vehicle the mouse when you calm your wavering mind when you calm your wavering mind you are able to overcome any obstacle ganesha will continue to bring you good luck success and harmony with the sweets of anada the awareness of your true consciousness is a bliss so i love that yes see calming your mind 
going to bring in this clarity and truth so you can have this major transformation and use those skills for your abundance and for your best life. All right. <clears throat> so again, anybody born on Jan January 17th, I feel like that was an extra special message for you. So let's go ahead and see what's coming on here. Get a tarot card for this. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, look. See, I really feel like the walls are going to come crumbling down. Something you're going to have this like major aha, like, whoa, I can't believe it was that simple all along. Like if I just cleared this up, you know, so there is going to be some uh, really obstacles removed from your life. You know, it's going to crumble down where you can step over it instead of you having to go around it or fight through it. So I really feel like there's some energy here that's clearing away for you to remove this so you can live your best life, to have this transformation and your abundance coming in. Okay, Capricorn? So I wanted to thank you all for watching. I appreciate your uh, support. I wish you uh, very much health and happiness. And uh, uh, thanks. So take care. Bye.